Welcome to the Talk of Football Review with Coach Bobby Carr. Coach, we played Glenwood this past week. Yep. Big victory. Uh, senior night, a little bit of emotional uh, time for our seniors. Talk about the game for a little bit. Yeah, I thought we came out and played really well first half. Uh, you know, Glenwood's a really good team, big school, and we've got a lot of respect for them. Uh, so we wanted to come out and play as fast as we could and as hard as we could first half and and then uh, really get our, our, our starters some, some reps and, and uh, or as many reps as we could get. And I thought it was a very, very good performance by, uh, by our offense. I think that was probably as good as I've seen Tripp play in a half of football, uh, spread around our receivers and uh, they made plays when they had to. And uh, O-line did a, did a pretty good job as well up front, giving us time to throw it. Good deal. Uh, going to the defense side of the ball, Coach, they had a quarterback that was pretty big, pretty explosive, uh, good runner. Yeah. Uh, how do you think the defense did kind of containing him and their offense this uh, the, uh, last week? Well, you know, I thought they did really well. We knew he'd make some plays because he's a good player, good arm, big kid. And uh, but, but at the end of the day, I thought uh, we did a really, really good job of uh, just uh, – uh, making plays when we had to make plays on the defense side of the ball. Good deal. Coach, we have an offensive player of the week, and that's Barry Womack to, uh, this week. Uh, caught two touchdown passes, had over 100 yards receiving. Uh, talk about Barry, big receiver, big yeah. big target for trip. Talk about Barry just for a little bit. Man, he's gotten better and better and better. He's a, a, a big receiver, and the, and the one thing that people don't know about Barry is every single day he's the last one to walk off the practice field. He's always working extra to be that guy, and he wants to play at the next level, and he's gotten a few offers. In fact, we had a couple of collegiate coaches at, at the game the other night, and, uh, and one of them offered him at, at halftime. So I thought that was, uh, that was really good for, for Barry. I'm, I'm glad to see uh, you know, all his extra work uh, showing up on, on Friday nights. Well, let's take a look at Barry Womack, Offensive Player of the Week. Welcome to the Talk of Football Review Offensive Player of the Week. This is Barry Womack. How you doing, Barry? How you doing, Coach? Barry, we played Glenwood this past week. You got Offensive Player of the Week, had two touchdowns, multiple yards receiving. Uh, talk about the game just a little bit. I think we went out there and played pretty good. I mean, we started off slow coming out, but we came out with a win. That's really all that matters for real. Do you think we came out slow just because it was senior night? We had a lot of distractions before the game. We kind of got, got off the field kind of early. And then we had to kind of rewarm up just to get started. Is that? Do you think that's why we had the slow start? I mean, I don't, I don't think that is the main thing. You got to stay focused, come out, and just continue to get better throughout the week because playoffs are coming up. Uh, good deal, um, Barry. This is your first year back at Otago. You were actually here in the eighth grade, then left and went to a couple of the schools, and then now you're back your senior year. How do you like playing at Otago Academy? I love it here. Everybody here is close, like a family, and we just play together and yeah. Um, another thing about our offense, uh, playing with a quarterback like Trip Carr, knowing that he is just throwing it all over the place, uh, you have multiple receivers, big talented receivers. Uh, how is it like just playing with a guy that you never know if you're going to get the ball and you have to run your routes every time because you don't know if you are going to get it? And Trip's a very really talented quarterback. He can do anything. He can run, pass, all that. And Trip, you know, gives us the opportunity to make the play. He puts the ball where it needs to be. And it's up to us to make the play. Good deal. Uh, going into this week, we have playoffs. First round of playoffs coming up. Uh, what do we have to do to keep this thing rolling to, to, to achieve our goal as a state champion? Let's continue to work hard in the weight room and at practice and do what we got to do every day. Good deal. This is Barry Womack, Offensive Player of the Week. Welcome back. That was Barry Womack. Offensive player of the week. Coach, let's turn to the defensive side of the ball. Defensive player of the week, we had Quez McDonald. Had two INTs. Uh, Quez is a kind of a special player. You know, does a little bit of everything for us. Plays a little linebacker, plays a little rover. A great special teams player. Talk about Quez just for a little bit. Well, Quez would be a starter on about any team else, uh, uh, any other team around this area. Uh, got a lot of talent, um, obviously. Had two picks. He could play in the box or he could play in the secondary if we needed to. He's also not a bad receiver on the offense. He does a good job with the second group there. Uh, but, you know, he's a very unselfish player. And, and the one thing about Quest, he loves his team like it's his family. And that's the one thing I notice about him every day. And he's always got a smile on his face. And, you know, we, we just hate he's a senior. But, but he's been a blessing to have on our team this year. Good deal. Let's take a look at Quest McDonald, Defensive Player of the Week. Welcome to the Talk of Football Review Defensive Player of the Week. This is Quez McDonald. How you doing, Quez? Good, good, yeah. Quez played Glenwood this past week, had two INTs. Uh, talk about the game just a little bit. 
Uh, I just want to say that first quarter came out slow, but I think because of the weather, you know, cold, we're not used to it. But all in all, I think we played really good. This night. Do you think we had a little bit of a distraction because of senior night, knowing that we had all the you know, festivities before the game with, with dealing with, with senior night and everything? Uh, do you think that kind of contributed to a little bit of a slow start? I would say yes, it did because, you know, realizing that you're a senior really, you know, puts an impact on it, plus all your family and people coming out to see you it was really big. Good deal. Uh, Quick, how do you like playing at Toggle? This is your third year playing here. Uh, also play soccer, play basketball. But going with the football program, how do you like playing at Toggle Academy? I love it because I just love, you know, the atmosphere and surrounding of, well, my family, my brothers, and it really just put an impact on me. Good deal. Uh, going into this week, we have playoffs this week. Uh, first round playing Patrician Academy. Uh, what do we have to do to kind of keep this thing rolling just to – Keep keep on with our goal of winning the state championship. I would say just keep on working hard and practicing, you know, no distractions, mentally or physically. So. Good deal. This is Quez McDonald, Defensive Player of the Week. Welcome back. That was Quez McDonald, Defensive Player of the Week. Coach, let's move to this next week. We have first round of the playoffs. It's a new yeah. season. Everybody's 0-0. Uh, we have Patrician Academy coming in this week. Talk about Patrician just for a little bit. Uh, uh, a lot of tradition. That's the one word that comes to mind when you think about Patrician. They're defending 1A state champs. Their head coach, Jonathan Lindsay, is a good friend of mine, and he does a good job with their guys. And I know they're going to come in here ready. Uh, you know, um, I, I told our guys the other day, like you just said, hey, everybody's zero and zero right now. Uh, so it doesn't matter what we've accomplished up to this point. When you get to playoffs, everybody's uh, got the same record. So. Uh, we're looking forward to, to a tough matchup. They play a different style of football on that side of the state. Uh, a lot of smash mouth, you know, take it to you type football. And so our, our guys have got to be ready for the challenge. Good deal. Coach, uh, a couple of announcements also. We have the gun raffle still going on. Get your tickets. Uh, if, you, if you'd like to buy them, that, that gun raffle is November the 9th, which is next week. Uh, we'll have that. So please see any of our coaches or players if you want a ticket. Uh, the game this week is on Thursday night, so come out and support our generals at 7 o'clock. Coach, let's go, let's go get that victory. Sounds good. This has been our Talk of Football Review with Coach Bobby Carr.